Hello, everyone. Welcome to the podcast Possible and Impossible with Julie. And to, this is my second episode. If you really curious about like the Taiwanese the history, today I'm going to talk about the concept store in Keelung. Hope you guys can enjoy it. I'm very glad to have this chance to share my thought about consignment store with you. It's a secret and unknown place that seldom people know. So we decided to make up our story to tell you the history of consignment store. Jimmy's grandpa has recently passed away. When he was sorting out the possessions, he remembered the story of the consignment store Grandpa had told him before when he was a child, and he began to recall that precious memory. One day, Jimmy found some wines that had been stored over 20 years, and then he was gonna ask for his grandpa where did this wine come from. Wow, these wines are so meaningful for me because they are from the consignment store. Wow, that's cool, but what is a consignment store? The consignment store is very similar to the trading house, but the consignment store is established by the private sector. At the time, because of the difficulty in importing foreign goods and the smuggling trade prevailed, the consignment store was an important window for Chinese people to contain foreign goods. Back the time, I also worked nearby there. I have seen everything from smuggling trade, world boutiques to prosperous ports. You see how amazing I am. By the way, every time I see handsome blondie guys, you know, I will be very nervous. When I was working, I even heard that my friends from the central and southern regions came up to Keelong to order goods. In the 1950s, due to the implementation of martial law in Taiwan, it was difficult to import overseas. There were many ships entering and departing the west coast of Keelong port. The goods were imported and exported here, and the port trade flourished. At that time, my friend who worked in the consignment store said there were four shop assistants in a small store, about 144 square feet, but each employee had a 1 million monthly income. He also heard that the stocking shop can earn 400,000 per month. Wow, sounds great, but Grandpa, why didn't you want to work in the consignment stores? Well, at that time, I met your grandpa who I love at first sight. Cause, uh, Cause she is charming and we both have eye contact. Every day I saw her perseverance for making a living in her life. That really touched me. Finally, we soon fell in love with each other. No matter where she goes, I always go with her without any hesitation. Awesome, that's totally true love. Thanks for sharing, Grandpa. Love you so much. In 1960, the public was restricted by martial law. If they do not have a company name or official duties, they generally cannot go abroad or had access to foreign goods. At the time, the Vietnam War broke out, so that the United States military often relied on Keelong as support of military supplies, owing to the frequent back and forth of American ships. The consignment store also reached its peak period. Therefore, the demand of imported products was getting higher and higher, and finally, consignment store will rapidly spring up. Jimmy, you're so sweet! Oh, I forgot to say something. Well, you know that mentholatum was bought from a consignment store about 40 years ago. However, did you know that this was the only available at the consignment store at that time? What? But I saw father use mentholatum to put on his feet. That is crazy. 
Oh, how is that possible? Oh, it's so funny. You know that I was poor at the time, so I spent a lot of time working. And finally, I got the most fashionable thing, that is Levi's jeans. Well, you know that I was cool and charming at the time. 1970, the heyday of the consumer store created many ways of importing goods. And the first one is crew, United States soldier, and some group carrying cargo, like smuggling by sea. For example, the crew carrying the cargo will put into waterproof bags and throw them into the sea. At the same time, someone in a small boat next to the ship will pick them up. And the second one is run a single gang. Some merchants in the central and southern of Taiwan come to order goods, buy in place A, and ship in place B to transfer the price differences. Similar, it's kind of similar to wholesalers, and it's possible that underground factories show up in that time. And the last one is the company registration number. The government restricts business people to take a salesperson as the need of the company to go abroad. At that time, the business people were willing to buy a trader license, like company number, for ten thousand dollars, or even directly join a trade union, so that you are more convenient for running a single game to bring goods. And finally, the consumer store are more and more prosperous. Playing my turn forward to prison, Jimmy goes to the consignment store and finds that the local store also passionately welcome him to visit next weekend, cause there will be several markets on his holiday every month, and he is so excited about the invitation, and decide to go to this place next week, where it's full of his grandpa's memories.